Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing a Madeira cake. This is an old school recipe. It's a sugar batter process. This is one of five recipes I was thinking about doing but I've chosen this one as probably one of the best. Please subscribe and please share. Now we'll get right on with the video. The recipe is below the video in the description. Also, you can find the recipe on my Facebook page at The Traditional Bakery. Our right, first thing, guys, we'll put in the butter. Now we'll add in the sugar. And now we'll pop this onto the machine. And we'll start off by mixing it on first speed. And now we're going to knock it up onto six speed. And part way through, you want to stop the machine and scrape it down. This helps to get all the butter and the sugar all mixed in off the bottom of the surface. It always seems to stick to the bottom. And we'll put the machine back on. Once again, we're back on to six speed. Whilst that's mixing, we'll sift together our flour and our almonds. It just gets to eradicate any big chunks and big bits and pieces that lie around in the flour and in the almonds, because it always seems to be lumpier, this type of flour. So you get it all through the sieve. There we go. Right, we're now getting ready to start adding in our egg. But first of all, we'll give it a good scrape down first. Once again, get all the bits off the bottom and anything lying on the side get it mixed in. Again, we've knocked that back up onto six speed. Now we're gonna start adding in our egg. What you do is add the egg in and let it clear and add some more and let it clear and add some more. Now what we're gonna do then is stop the machine and give this a good scrape down. It's always best doing this at least once or twice through mixing the egg in. It stops the curdling. And if you do have a problem with the curdling, just add a spoonful of flour in. And this stops it. Once again, we'll carry on. Back up to on to six speed. And we'll carry on adding in our egg. bit at a time and just let it clear. See it, bit at a time. And let it clear. Now we're gonna add in the remainder of the egg. And now we're going to give this a good scrape down. Get everything off the bottom. So you're sort of really giving this a good scrape down. Now we're going to whip this back up onto six speed for around about five minutes. Now we're gonna start adding in the lemon juice and the lemon zest. Right, now we're gonna turn the machine down onto first speed. And this is because we're gonna start adding in the flour. 
Then we start adding in the flour over around about one minute. Right guys, we're now going to give this a good scrape down. Get it all off the bottom, make sure that flare is turned in. And now what we're going to do is pop the machine back onto first speed and just let this mix round for one minute. And this is just to make sure all those bits and pieces from the bottom of the base is actually well mixed in. And that is it guys. We're now ready. So next stage, what we're gonna do is we're going to line the tin. It's a very simple job. Make sure you get yourself some good silicone paper or baking parchment. First line the base, and then we'll do the sides. You can do this double thickness if you like, or you can do it single. It depends on what you're baking. With a Madeira cake, a single layer be plenty. And once you've got all the paper on, then just spray the inside of that paper with your oil spray. There you go. It's as simple as that. Right, now we'll get the mix off the machine and get it into the tin. That's it, get it all out, scrape it down, get it all into the tin. Now once you've got it into the tin, just spread it out so it's nice and level. And then we're gonna sprinkle it with caster sugar. I haven't got any citron peel, so we can't pop any on the top. Right, now for baking, your oven wants to be at 150, and we're gonna bake them in the oven for one hour and 15 minutes. Right, she's ready. And what we do is we test the cake by popping a knife in or a skewer. If it comes out clean, it's ready. And that looks as though it's ready. Now we'll get them out onto the table. Best idea is to let it cool in the tin for a bit before trying to get them out. Leave it about half an hour or so. And once you've left it, Get them out of the tin, put it onto a wire, and now you can take off all your paper. I always leave the base bit on, it just finishes it off nice. And now guys, you're ready to cut it and eat it. And that is an absolutely beautiful cake. And you've got to try it. It does taste good. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's an absolutely beautiful cake, the Madeira. And you can make so many different variations of Madeira. It's unbelievable. Please subscribe and please share. Do check out the playlist below. And don't forget, your recipe is below in the description. And if you want to leave a comment, leave it in the comments below. Anyway, we'll see you again shortly. Laters!